fire would be a suitable means of eliminating such refuse. Now this point, what the fire did not consume, the maggots would. Now, I don't know if you know much about maggots, but uh, you see a whole bunch of them. It's just not a pleasant sight. But what a fitting picture of the final end of all of God's enemies. Sobering, yet something we look forward to. However, the apostates and the enemies of Jehovah would say, well, that's gruesome, that's despicable. You teach your people these things? No, God teaches his people these things. This is what he's foretelling. And frankly, for friends of Jehovah God, how reassuring that they're finally going to be gone. All these despicable enemies that have uh, just reproached Jehovah's name, destroyed, never, ever to live again. Now, it's not that we rejoice in someone's death, but when it comes to God's enemies, finally, they're out of the way, especially these despicable apostates who at one point had dedicated their life to God, and then they joined forces with Satan, the devil, the chief apostate of, of all time. So while we eagerly await Jehovah's bringing his enemies to the end, very sobering point from James chapter 4 that you'll remember. Let's find James and what uh, he writes here. James chapter 4. And James, of course, Jehovah used him and inspired him, but always nice and direct. You don't read James and go away saying, I wonder what he meant by that. Uh, it's very clear. Verse 4, adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever, therefore, wants to be a friend of the world is making himself an enemy of God. So what a clear warning we don't want to have any friendship, whether socially or on social networks, uh, with Jehovah's enemies. We're not friends of the world. We're Jehovah's friends. Uh, we're uh, looking at him as our closest and most precious friend, and we never would want Jehovah to view us as an enemy. So, in conclusion, let's go back to that opening psalm that we looked at here. Just to help this verse stay in your mind, we hope, uh, verse 20, just to emphasize this, but the wicked will perish, the enemies of Jehovah will vanish like glorious pastures, particularly they will vanish like smoke. So just, I thought this would be a nice memory aid, to this verse stay in the mind. Here's what Jehovah's promising. Hey. <laughs> As Jehovah's enemies. They're going to vanish like smoke.